It's not just your imagination. There's something truly magical happening in your brain while you sleep. There's a tiny gland in your head that's been blowing minds for centuries. It's called the pineal gland, and it does have a wild nightlife. Stick around, and I'll tell you why. Those hours between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. might just be the most important part of your day. All right, let's talk about this fascinating world of the pineal gland. First things first, what exactly is this mysterious gland we're talking about? Right in the center of your brain, there's a tiny pine cone shaped structure. That's your pineal gland. It's small, about the size of a grain of rice, but don't let its size fool you. This little powerhouse is packing some serious punch. Now, here's where it gets wild. Throughout history, people have been obsessed with this gland. We're not just talking about modern scientists. We're going way back. Ancient Egyptians, Hindu sages, and even big brain philosophers like Rene Descartes all had something to say about this tiny part of our anatomy. The ancient Egyptians associated the pineal gland with the eye of Horus, a powerful symbol of protection, royal power, and good health. In Hindu tradition, it's linked to the Ajna Chakra, or third eye chakra. They believed it was the center of intuition and spiritual insight. Descartes called it the seat of the soul. Modern science has some pretty fascinating things to say about the pineal gland too. Its main job is to produce a hormone called melatonin. Think of melatonin as your body's very own DJ, spinning the tracks for your sleep-wake cycle. It's what helps you feel sleepy when it's dark and wakeful when it's light. But here's the kicker. It's also a superhero antioxidant, fighting off nasty free radicals in your body. Free radicals are these unstable molecules that can damage your cells and contribute to aging and diseases. Melatonin swoops in like a caped crusader, neutralizing these troublemakers and helping to keep your body in tip-top shape. Now, remember how I mentioned 10 p.m. to 3 a.m.? That's when your pineal gland throws its wildest party. Melatonin production goes through the roof during these hours. This is why sleep experts are always harping on about consistent sleep schedules. When you hit the hay around the same time each night, you're giving your pineal gland the best chance to do its thing. And trust me, you want it firing on all cylinders. But wait, there's more. The pineal gland isn't a one-hit wonder. It's also churning out serotonin, you know, the happy hormone, plus some other cool cats like arginine, vasitocin, and epithalamin. These guys are all about keeping your mood up, your memory sharp, and your biological clock ticking smoothly. Let's break these down a bit. Serotonin is crucial for regulating mood, appetite, and sleep. Low serotonin levels have been linked to depression and anxiety. So when your pineal gland is pumping out serotonin, it's basically your brain's way of saying, don't worry, be happy. Arginine vasitocin is less well known, but it's a key player in promoting deep, restorative sleep. It's like the bouncer at Club Pineal, making sure you get that high quality shut eye. And epithalamin? This hormone is all about keeping you young. Well, younger. It helps synchronize your biological clock and has been linked to cognitive function and longevity. Who knew such a tiny gland could be the fountain of youth? Now, I know what you're thinking. That's cool and all, but what does it mean for me? Well, my friend, it could mean a lot. Ever notice how your dreams are way more vivid when you hit the hay early? Or how meditation feels different at night? That's your pineal gland doing its thing. Many people report more intense dreams and even lucid dreaming experiences when they prioritize sleep during those peak pineal hours. And for the meditation crowd, practicing during these nighttime hours might lead to deeper states of relaxation and insight. But here's the catch. Our modern lifestyle isn't exactly pineal gland friendly. All that artificial light from our screens is messing with our melatonin production. You see, our pineal gland is light sensitive. In our ancestors' time, the only nighttime light came from the moon and stars. But now, we're bathed in artificial light, 24 7 This constant exposure to light, especially the blue light from our devices, can confuse our pineal gland and disrupt our natural rhythms. This disruption isn't just about feeling groggy in the morning. It can have serious long-term effects on our health. We're talking increased risk of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and even some types of cancer. But don't panic. There are things we can do to support our pineal gland and reap all those sweet, sweet benefits. Here are some tips to keep your pineal gland happy and healthy. Soak up some natural light during the day. 
cut down on screen time before bed. Try meditation or deep breathing exercises. Create a dark, cozy sleep environment. Stick to a consistent sleep schedule. Consider using blue light filters on your devices. Eat foods rich in tryptophan, which helps produce serotonin and melatonin. Let's break these down a bit. Getting natural light during the day, especially in the morning, helps regulate your circadian rhythm. It's like setting your internal clock. And when it comes to bedtime, think cave-like conditions. The darker, the better. Meditation and deep breathing exercises can help calm your mind and potentially activate your pineal gland. Some people even practice specific third eye meditation techniques, focusing on the area between their eyebrows. As for diet, foods like turkey, eggs, cheese, nuts and seeds are all good sources of tryptophan. And hey, who doesn't love a good cheese board before bed? Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Some researchers and spiritual practitioners believe that decalcifying the pineal gland can enhance its function. Over time, the pineal gland can accumulate calcium deposits, which some think might impair its abilities. While the jury's still out on whether this really affects the gland's function, some people swear by practices like reducing fluoride exposure, eating foods rich in boron, and even using sound therapy to keep their pineal gland in top shape. As always, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional before making any major changes to your diet or health routine. So, what can happen when you start paying attention to your pineal gland health? Well, the potential benefits are pretty exciting. We're talking better sleep quality, improved mood, sharper memory and cognitive function, and potentially even enhanced intuition and spiritual experiences. Many people report feeling more in tune with their bodies and the world around them. Some describe a sense of heightened awareness or awakening. Others find they're better able to recall and understand their dreams. And for the more spiritually inclined, a healthy pineal gland is thought to facilitate deeper meditation experiences and even phenomena like lucid dreaming or out-of-body experiences. Of course, everyone's experience is different. And whether you're in it for the potential spiritual benefits or just want to catch some better sleep, taking care of your pineal gland is a win-win. Now, let's dive a bit deeper into the science behind the pineal gland's nighttime activity. Remember how we said melatonin production peaks between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m.? Well, this isn't just a random occurrence. It's part of your body's intricate circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythm is like an internal 24-hour clock that regulates various physiological processes. As night falls and darkness sets in, your pineal gland gets the signal to start ramping up melatonin production. This gradually makes you feel sleepy and helps prepare your body for rest and repair. But here's the cool part. During these peak hours, it's not just about sleep. Your body is hard at work, carrying out essential maintenance tasks. We're talking cellular repair, memory consolidation, and even flushing out toxins from your brain. Recent studies have shown that during deep sleep, the spaces between brain cells actually increase, allowing for a kind of power wash of the brain. This process, known as the glymphatic system, helps clear out waste products that accumulate during waking hours. Pretty neat, huh? But the benefits don't stop there. Remember serotonin, our happy hormone? Well, adequate melatonin production at night is crucial for maintaining healthy serotonin levels during the day. It's all interconnected. This is why disrupting your sleep cycle can have such far-reaching effects. When you stay up late scrolling through social media or binge watching your favorite show, you're not just losing sleep, you're potentially throwing off your entire hormonal balance. The good news is, your pineal gland is pretty resilient. Even if you've been neglecting it, a few simple changes can help get it back on track. Remember those tips we talked about earlier? Implementing even a couple of them can make a big difference. For example, try setting a consistent bedtime and wake-up time, even on weekends. Your pineal gland loves routine, and if you can't resist that late-night phone check, at least use a blue light filter or night mode on your devices. Another tip, try some gentle yoga or stretching before bed. This can help relax your body and mind, making it easier for your pineal gland to do its thing. Plus, it feels great. Now, let's talk about dreams for a moment. Many people report more vivid and memorable dreams when they optimize their sleep for pineal gland function. Some even experience lucid dreams, where you become aware that you're dreaming and can sometimes control the dream. While we're still unraveling the mysteries of dreams, 
Some researchers believe that dreams play a crucial role in processing emotions, consolidating memories, and even problem solving. So by supporting your pineal gland, you might be enhancing these important cognitive processes. And for those of you interested in the more esoteric aspects of pineal gland function, there's a whole world of meditation and mindfulness practices designed to awaken or activate the third eye. These practices often involve focusing your attention on the area between your eyebrows, the traditional location of the third eye chakra. Some people report experiences of expanded consciousness, increased intuition, or even psychic phenomena. While these claims are difficult to verify scientifically, many find these practices deeply meaningful and transformative. Remember though, whether you're approaching pineal gland health from a purely physiological standpoint or a more spiritual one, the basics remain the same. Prioritize good sleep hygiene, manage your light exposure, and listen to your body's natural rhythms. And there you have it, folks, the secret nightlife of your pineal gland. Pretty wild, right? Who knew such a tiny part of your brain could be so important? So, here's my challenge to you. Try paying attention to your sleep habits this week. Maybe experiment with some of those tips I mentioned. And hey, if you start having some crazy vivid dreams or sudden moments of enlightenment, don't say I didn't warn you. If you enjoyed this little journey into the center of your brain, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences with sleep, dreams, or anything pineal gland related. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.